Hi, I'm Tom Lydon, editor of ETF Trends. Here in Chicago at the Morning Star Conference, I'm here with Bill Belden, who's head of the ETF business at Guggenheim. Bill, great seeing you. Tom, great to be with you, thanks. So everybody is talking about mutual funds and ETF flows. Uh, ETFs continue to enjoy massive flows where mutual funds are challenged. But one area in, in particular has been the fixed income areas, advisors are concerned about rising rates. What are some of the tools that Guggenheim offers that helps advisors in these times? Sure, so actually this year we're seeing fixed income outpace equity even in terms of inflow. So it's a great story around fixed income. We feel like we're really well positioned in that space. As you know, we've got our bullet share suite of ETFs, which are defined maturity products that really help address some of the needs that advisors have in building client portfolios exposure to fixed income. Right, so specifically, defined maturity means there's a set uh, mature date within every ETF, correct? Right, the structure of those products are designed to wed the best aspects of owning a fund with owning an individual bond. So yeah. to your point, they actually have a maturity date. So we have a suite of 18 products each with an individual maturity date at the end of a particular calendar year. Yeah. So the, the benefits of having that aspect in a diversified product really adds a new feature to fixed income investing within the realm of ETFs, and we have found advisors really latching onto that. As a matter of fact, we've just passed $7 billion in assets within the suite, an all-time wow. high, and really seeing a lot of increasing adoption uh, as advisors really address, you know, seek to address client needs within yeah. the challenging fixed income market. So as an example, if you take the corporate bond 2020 right. ETF, uh, you've got bonds that mature at that date, exactly. have that yield, yep. so uh, you're not necessarily susceptible to rising rates if you hold that to maturity, That's correctly? exactly right, yeah. So okay. the, the product consists of all bonds that have an effective maturity date within that particular year. So yeah. the 2020 product will have bonds exclusively designed to mature or be called in yeah. that calendar year, and that finite life really helps mitigate the interest rate risk that you were talking about. Okay, and here we are in 2020, what happens to that ETF? Well, you know, in 2020, at the end of the year, the last net asset value is struck on the last business day of the year and the proceeds are sent back to shareholders. So and that's it. That's it. Over the course of the past five years, we've sent almost $2 billion back to shareholders successfully. We're just on track to send another billion back to shareholders at the end of this year between our investment grade and our high, high yield products. So right. great proof of concept with sure. each maturity date. And I imagine a certain amount is repatriated back into another yeah. future year. As a matter of fact, January and February are our biggest inflows and back into the bullet shares from proceeds that have been sent back to shareholder accounts. So yeah, it's a great validation of the concept. And, right. and interestingly enough, we're really seeing a lot of laddering going mm -hmm. on. They're great tools for building ladders and with a dearth of inventory on individual bonds. Great. It's a great solution set for advisors. Excellent, excellent. So, but Guggenheim's really known as an active fixed income shop, and I know you've got especially some short-term active products that have garnered a lot of attention lately. Right? Absolutely, yeah. so our enhanced short duration product, the ticker on that is GSY, really delivers what Guggenheim's core competency is, which yeah. is active fixed income. Yeah. And so we've actually just passed our five-year anniversary for the active mandate within GSY. And that particular exposure has been great too in terms of you know, an uncertain rate environment and on the short duration side of the curve, um, there's some great uh, rewards for investing uh, within a product yeah, like and that. And that's just coming up on five year number, right? Yeah, it's actually, it, we launched it back in 2008, we converted it to the Guggenheim Active Management in 2011 and June 1st it just passed its five year birthday. Yeah, great, great idea. So again, for full disclosure, I'm an independent trustee on the Guggenheim Funds Board on behalf of the shareholders, so I know a little bit more right, about that, right, yeah. but uh, most importantly, I'm a big fan, so uh, thanks for coming by today, Bill, really appreciate it. Thank you, Tom.